My name is Kirby and I am interviewing my dad on what it was like working on a ranch in Kansas. Where did you grow up and what was it like growing up there? I grew up in a little town called Greenville, Ohio. Uh, it was a small midwestern town. It was a county seat to Dark County. Uh, probably about, when I lived there, it was probably 20, anywhere from 12 to 15,000 people. Uh, it was a farming community, so it was rural and had a lot of farms, a lot of horses and, and cattle. And uh, it was just a real nice place to grow up. I mean, we had about anything and everything that you needed right there in town. And it was kind of a hot spot for a lot of other people. They would come every Friday and Saturday night and cruise up and down our main street because we had a circle. And that was the thing to do when I was a kid back in high school, was just drive around in your car and try to look cool and so we had people that came from big cities even like Dayton that would come to Greenville just to do that so it was just a neat Midwestern town. When did you move to Kansas? I moved to Kansas in 1981. Uh, moved here to Cowboy for a living. Uh, Why did you move to Kansas? I moved here I had went to a bull riding school in Oklahoma with a couple of friends of mine from Ohio and I met a kid from Pratt, Kansas and he said I told him that I had grown up showing horses uh, all my life in Ohio and that I always wanted to work on a ranch. Ranches in Ohio really are just big feed lots and I told him I always wanted to work on a ranch and so he was able to get me a job on the Anchor D Ranch down in Belvedere, uh, Kansas and so that was a big reason why I moved here. What was your job on the ranch? Did a little bit of everything uh, that you do on ranching. My main responsibility was, of course, taking care of cows. So every single morning, uh, we had a guy on the ranch named Doc Carpenter. He would come by the bunkhouse about 5.30 in the morning and honk the horn, and that would be our wake-up call. And then I would get up and go down to the barn and saddle up the horse that he had fed grain to, because that was Doc's job. He'd go down and and grain the one horse that we had in and then I'd go do what they call jingle the horses in which means I'd bring all the other horses in uh, from the pasture for all the other cowboys to be able to ride that day so almost every day would start out like that uh, during the calving season uh, my job was to always go around and uh, I rode all the different pastures and would just check cows, make sure everything was going well and none of the cows were having any trouble. Uh, every day I would be on a horse from six in the morning till at least noon and then during the summertime we had a lot of fence that we built because we put up a lot of brand new barbed wire fence and then during the winter uh, continued to be a horseback but we also uh, fed with mule teams during the winter. So we had a hay wagon, we'd load it up with hay and, and a feed they called cake. And then we'd go around with the mule team and we would feed and check cows. So I was on a horse every single day that I worked there. How long did you work a day? It depended on the day. Uh, every day, almost every single day, like I said, started at about 5.30 in the morning, uh, going out and jingling the horses and then we'd come in and eat breakfast after I brought the horses in and every day you work till at least six o'clock. Um, on days when we had branding and stuff like that going on we would get up sometimes three thirty, four o'clock in the morning again jingle the horses in load up everything and we would drive to whatever pasture it was that we were bringing in that day and we would uh, ride to the back side of that pasture and have all the horses and all of us be set up and ready to go as soon as the sun came up we'd be pushing cows to go to the corral to get ready to brand. When did you stop working on the ranch? I worked uh, on and off on the ranch, worked for uh, six months or more, probably closer to a year actually and then left there and went into the oil field and and in the oil patch and worked there for a while and then uh, ended up coming back to the ranch so I probably worked somewhere between a year and a half to two years total on the ranch and my last time that I worked there was probably right before your mom and I got married.